Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Now they say the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Have I managed to make a delicious strawberry cheesecake in this kitchen with very few tools at all? Well, stay to the end and we'll give this a taste. I can tell you now, it smells fantastic. Quick question, is a strawberry a berry? Comment down below. Let's get on and make strawberry cheesecake. It wasn't super easy to find strawberries here in Kuala Lumpur, but when I did find them, man, they smelled so good. I couldn't not make a strawberry cheesecake. Fun little fact, how many seeds do you think are on the outside of a strawberry? You comment down below and I'll tell you a little bit later on. And whilst we're talking about the cheesecake, I'm gonna be making individual little four inch cheesecakes. This whole recipe needs to be doubled if you're gonna make an eight inch spring form cheesecake. These have been fantastic. I bought these at the beginning of our trip. And if I can remember where I get them from, I'll put a link down below because they're great individual cheesecake sizes. Now I'd like a little bit of baking paper or non-stick paper at the bottom of these pans. So I'm just gonna fold this up into a point Get it roughly halfway and then I'm just going to cut a little edge off and that'll give me the perfect little round then to sit inside and let my cheesecake come out easily. Now I'll just pop those aside, grab myself a mixing bowl. Now I'm using digestive biscuits. I love these from the base. You can use graham crackers. Um, I've got about 100 grams, three and a half ounces or what is that, two, four, six, seven cookies or biscuits. And I just want to crush these up. I'm using the bottom of a glass and you can use that just to crush this up to a nice fine sand consistency. Next we've got just under two ounces, about 50 grams of butter, which I'm just gonna melt in the microwave. Now it doesn't need to be completely melted. That took about 20 seconds. I'm gonna add that butter in with our cookies and I'm just gonna mix that through so we get something like a wet sand. And then we're just gonna evenly distribute our buttery cookie mixture into each of the tins. Now again, using the bottom of that glass, I'm just gonna compact this down and get it nice and flat. Now set these aside in the fridge for about 30 minutes to let them firm up while we get on and make the cheesecake topping. Now I have a third of a cup, that's about 80 mils of whipping cream here, that's fresh cream. You could use Cool Whip if you like, I just really prefer the flavor of fresh cream. And what we're gonna do is whip this up until it's nice and stiff. I'm gonna be using Philadelphia cream cheese. I've got a nine ounce, 250 gram block here, if I can get it open. And then using a spoon, I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. We're going to sweeten it with half a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar and I'm going to eyeball about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now gently just mix this together until we get a smooth paste. Now this is an optional stage. I love a little bit of lemon zest in with my cheesecake. I just think it makes great flavor. Now our whipped cream, we're gonna pop that in there and we're just gonna use our spoon and whip that into our cream cheese. Now it is a strawberry cheesecake after all, so I'm going to take maybe two or three of my strawberries, just nip the ends off. Now, if any of you have commented down below, there are approximately 200 little seeds on the outside of each strawberry. Now I'm just slicing it up nice and thin. Pop those little bits of diced strawberry in with my cheesecake mix, and we're just going to fold them into the mix. So now you've got that beautiful cheesecake mix in there with those lovely little bits of strawberry inside. My bases have set up nice and firm in the fridge. We're going to take our cheesecake mix and we're just going to evenly distribute it between the two cases. I'm just gonna push the cheesecake into the corners and I'm gonna use a little crank handle spatula just to level up the tops. That is just delicious. Now I need to set these aside in the fridge for maybe an hour or so, so they get nice and firm. And then we'll put a little decoration on top and we'll give them a try. Now I'm gonna glaze the top of my cheesecake with a beautiful little homemade strawberry preserve set in some jelly. We just need a few strawberries here. Again, I'm just going to nip the ends off. We're dicing them up a second time. you know these strawberries are gonna be good, just the smell of them. I'm gonna pop those into the smallest pan I have, which happens to be my frying pan here where we are. I'm going to take uh, about half a cup again of powdered sugar. 
Just pop that in with the strawberries. I know that sounds sweet, but it's gonna taste delicious. About a quarter of a cup of water. Bring it over onto my stove, put it on a, a modest to high temperature. And we're just going to use a spoon or spatula to mix this up a little bit. Now, what's gonna happen is the sugars are going to caramelize as this comes up to temperature and it's gonna break up the strawberries and we'll have this beautiful strawberry preserve. Now it isn't gonna take long, maybe three to five minutes, and the strawberries are gonna break down into a nice pulp like this. Now strawberries don't have a lot of pectin in them, and we want this to set. So I have some gelatine here. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of gelatine into a glass, maybe three or four tablespoons of hot water from a kettle. Give this a little mix through. Now it doesn't have to completely dissolve because uh, we're gonna keep heating this a little bit. I'm gonna put the gelatine in there because I want this strawberry sauce to set. I'll give this a, a final mix through, just bring it up to heat. I've got a glass bowl and a little sieve. Just pop that into the bowl. And I'm going to strain out most of the lumps of strawberry. So just pour that in there now. And I'm going to push all the sauce through. So you're gonna be left with this beautiful strawberry syrup. What I'm going to do is take that strawberry sauce and just pour it over the top of the cheesecake. Now I've got to have enough for both of them. And there should be plenty. Now I've picked out one of my prettier strawberries and I'm just going to slice it at an angle and I'm going to lay it into the sauce just like that. I think that looks pretty. Now you can tell me down below whether you prefer that idea or you can take a strawberry, cut it in half, and then we're just going to cut some little lines, little thin lines through the strawberry, and then just fan it out like that and lay that in the same manner on top. And that should look quite pretty. Now we're gonna pop these in the fridge until they fully set up, could take an hour or so, and then they're ready to taste. So they've been in the fridge to set up now. Let's see if we can get them out and keep them pretty. Now chances are they'll come out without any hiccups, but I'll just ease the edge of these with a knife just to uh, allow the gelatine to break away from the side without splitting. And then I'm just going to release the spring form, give it a, a little shake. Hopefully it's um, set down there. Let's just take that off. How beautiful does that look? Now because I've got that little bit of paper under there, we should be able to lift this cheesecake off. I'm just gonna place it down on a plate. And as I said at the beginning of this video, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We've got those lovely little bits of strawberry inside, this sweet gelatine on top. Now if I cut through, and if I get through that biscuit as well, doesn't that look gorgeous? Now it's a big mouthful, but I think I can manage it. Here goes. from the sweet biscuit base to that beautiful creamy cheesecake to that wonderful strawberry preserve on top. This is an absolute winner. It is delicious. So if you decide to make this strawberry cheesecake, as always, send me some pictures across at Steve's Kitchen on any social media you like. Don't forget to share this video and the student series we're doing at the moment with anybody you think could use student recipes. And I will see you next weekend. We have some more great student recipes coming out of this kitchen while we're here this month. So I'll see you then. Be good. See you next time.